The Boeing Spirit deal brings with it many questions from the security of jobs to the defense work the Spirit does for more than just Boeing. Senator Jerry Moran has been asking those questions. He sat down here in studio with Brandon Stitt earlier this afternoon. So Brandon, what did the senator have to share? Well, Mike, Senator Moran's first concern is making sure that Boeing is able to manufacture safe airplanes. And secondly, he's making sure the defense work that Spirit currently handles stays right here in the air capital. We're partners with Boeing now. We manufacture a significant portion. Boeing CEO David Calhoun says the deal to buy Wichita-based Spirit Aerosystems is in the best interest of the flying public. Senator Jerry Moran says that will only be the case if the safety of the airplanes becomes the company's priority. You'd expect me as a Kansas uh, senator uh, advocating for aviation airspace, more jobs, and I, that's true. But there's no future for those jobs unless the companies are acting in safe and secure ways and the people who fly on airplanes know that, feel comfortable, and they are safe. Only then will the deal be a good thing for Kansas. It can be a good thing. It'd be a good thing if Boeing gets itself in a position to manufacture safe airplanes. Questions the senator is yet to get answered and has other area suppliers concerned is the defense work currently done by Spirit. I want to make sure that someone does not forget and let slip through the cracks this defense component of what Spirit does. And the reason it matters to Wichita, I mean, 1,500, 2,000 of the jobs at Spirit are people who work in defense. And when it comes to the care of the current employees? They have every reason to try to make certain that they care for that, that, those employees because they can't be found anyplace else. And Senator Moran tells me there are a lot of unknowns that remain. And he has also been in contact with Boeing executives and he wants to make sure that what happens is best for Kansas. Brandon, thank you. We're still asking questions about what this merger means for workers and the Wichita economy. We're trying to get some information on how it will impact local employees. Will there be more layoffs? Will Boeing honor the latest machinist unions contract that was approved just last summer? And again, how will this impact aviation suppliers and subcontractors right here in Wichita? We'll keep following the story and bring you what we learn on air and of course right here on our free 12 news app.